Hello everyone and welcome to the 16th electronics tutorial. In this tutorial we will look at combinational logic. Combinational logic, as the name suggests, uses multiple logic gates to create a more complex truth table. To understand uses for a combinational logic circuit better, let's look at an example of a security alarm system. The alarm system uses four different states. Sense. The alarm will use sensors to detect movement. Tamper. If anyone interferes with the wiring on the alarm system, it will trigger a silent alarm. Intruder. If the sensors are disrupted, the alarm will sound. And reset. If tamper or intruder have been enabled, we will need to reset the alarm back to the sense state. When the alarm is in sense state, we have to ensure that the tamper or intruder state is not enabled unless the sensors are disrupted. Also, when tamper or intruder are enabled, we do not want the alarm to slip back into a sense mode. And when the reset is triggered, we need the alarm system to go back into sense mode and not trigger any other state until necessary. With this information, we can build a truth table and then use this to design the circuit required. The truth table would look as follows. With this truth table, we can combine logic gates to create a circuit with four inputs. Each input, when enabled, must disable all other inputs. When examining combinational logic, we need to be able to analyse the circuit and walk through each logic gate to determine where the output will receive the logic high or low signal. Let's move to the next video to see how this is done. 